Hello, hello. Hello, good evening, everybody. Let me go ahead and move this around a little bit. Let me move my seat. Good evening, Delmi. Good evening, Diana. Good evening, teacher. Hello, hello. Remember week four, day number two. Oh my God, it's almost over. Oh no, el teacher se no pass. No, teacher, please. Come on. No, teacher, please. Good evening. How are you guys doing? How are you doing, Domi? Hello, I'm doing pretty well. Thank you. Hello, Good evening, Madeline. Good evening. Hello. I had problem with the platform because I I I don't understand and then. Um, the the first the first uh, unit and what uh, section the section uh, the the first section because um uh, i remember the statement um you uh, join the the statement uh, join join the statement but i don't understand uh, uh, how how I can we can how definitely can. we can definitely look into that Madeline Alexander welcome actually we can do that now uh, let me go ahead and share my whole screen for you guys and Madeline can you see my screen clauses. the clause let me see that was in the section clause. was that section three let me go back And let me, three. let me see here. Defining and non-defining relative clauses. And then from there, section 3.1, there's the knowledge check, which is this one. where you have to identify the relative clause, then you have to rewrite it. Yeah. And it was number one, two, three. This is the one that you need? Yes. Is yes, that the one? I, I, yeah. Okay. Uh, but I don't understand. You need the, the two, two statements. So, wait. It, but is it is it this section, Madeline? Is it section three point two? No, no, no. I remember is the the first the first section the first section is a one two one two. I, I so we would have to go back. Number. Let me see. Let's take a look at it. But it's join join two statements. Join. And you have I to cannot, join. I can join. Let's let's review. Let's check. So lesson one was gerunds and infinitives, verbs followed by gerunds. Read the dialogues. Complete the sentence. If the two answers are possible, write both of them. Separate I did both. It. I did it. This one you did. I did it. Yes, I did it. Okay. Then uh, change practice vocabulary. How have Sorry. you changed? Let me see, let me go, let's. I did it. 1.5, the listening exercise you completed. Join, uh, it, it, if you read, if you read, uh, say join, join to a statements. Noun clauses, I think this might be it. Let me, give me one second, it says, 
read yeah. the following sentences, then combine then them combine to make them one single remember sentence. To use, ah, that, yeah, okay, this is, this is the, the exact, the, the exercise. Knowledge check one point. Exercise. Remember that one of these, um, even though you write it, let me see, I think they fixed it. There was there was a problem with the uh, with the way it was done. So what I, I can I, do, I let me go ahead and do this. I think we did this exercise. Let me go ahead and take a, a quick picture, and I'm going to send this to you, M Madeline. I'm going to send it to you right now. Yeah. Let me see. So this the was nice this is about me. Uh huh. So let me uh, go ahead. Uh, you are you are standing uh, starting with the second statement, the nice scenes, and you write you oh write at uh, the first statement um, after. Mm, the trouble is okay. The trouble is the open. With uh, the second, the second, I don't understand because the trouble with having a younger sister is uh, that she always I, wants to borrow my clothes. The trouble is she always. Mm -hmm. uh, why I I write with having? Um. Well, the trouble with having a younger sister. With having, I, I write always. You don't have you to, know. no, not not always. Uh, you could say the trouble, well, you know, in, in this particular case, you do have to stick to it because what you're implying is that it's happening right now. So right at this moment, I have a younger sister. And in I am saying, moment. yeah, right at this moment. And so that's why we're using having, you know, um, if we were talking about just uh, you in general, you have a younger sister, you can say, I have a younger sister, and you could use the word have. But because we are actually saying that at this very moment, uh, we change it to having. Okay, uh, always uh, you write in this moment, the statement you you write um, having. If you, well, you could say, I am having problems at this moment. That automatically tells me that you are having them right now and that they are constant right now at this moment. So if you okay. wanna say something like that, you can. You can use having in that having. way. Now, if you okay. want to go back a little bit further, you would have to change it a little bit. Uh, you could say something like have, well, have had would have to be. Have had. Have had problems um, with my have sister had. in the past. It's in something past. that you can say, yeah. Um, I've, I've had is another way of saying, so you could say had, I have had. So it would have to change a little bit if you want to go in and use it like in past tense. Yeah. I have had in the past uh, problems problem. with my younger you sister. Correct. But mm -hmm, because yeah. what you want to say is that right now, you are having this problem, then you could say having. I am uh, having. Yeah. Having. Yeah, always. Okay, thank you, teacher. Thank okay. you. Okay. I try the... to take a picture of this. I don't know if uh, I'll try to I'll try to send it to you right now and see how Explain that works. Uh-huh. All right. So hello everybody. Hello everybody. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I'm already sharing the screen, I believe, for everybody. All right, let me see. Alexander already said, hello, Jarvin. Welcome, 
Uh, Chalo, hello, hello, my friend. How's everybody doing today? Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Always, always a good evening in my class. Eh, compré pancito, pero como no se los puedo dar, me lo voy a comer yo, desafortunadamente, ¿verdad? I, I do want to share. It's my but... bread. Hey, it's my hey, bread. Madeline, so... where's my cake? I'm still waiting for my cake for Valentine's. Hmm, <laughs> that I forgot. Bread. Give me bread. Good evening, everybody. So, remember, week number four, guys. Day number two. So, we have two days left. How are you guys doing with the platform work? Are you guys already at the 80%? Have you guys hit 80%? I do. Could tell me. Really, Chalo? Nice, nice. That's good to hear. Well yeah. done. Como es, como es well done. Well done. <laughs> well good done, job, everyone. just that. Good, good job, good job. <laughs> you know, um, how how were your how was your day? Well, I wanted to ask everybody, right? So, how was your day for everybody? Did you guys have a good day? I'm uh, Delmi said that she was My she was doing day pretty was good. Very, very good, very, very good. Very good. All right. With my students, yes. We have Madeline with good. All right. Okay. Chalo, how was your day? It was good. Um, a little boring. <laughs> boring? Okay. It, it happens sometimes. Alex, I heard yeah. you say something. Yeah, it was, it was busy, but it was good. It was busy and good. Well, you know, busy is always good. What I found out is that when it's busy, you feel like the time really flies. Uh, next thing you know, it's already, you know, 3, 4 p.m. So busy is always good. Josue, Joshua, hello, my friend. Welcome, welcome. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening, sir. Good evening. All right. Okay. Uh, we, were, we were actually reviewing the platform. Uh, we were in Knowledge Check 1.8. We went back all the way to Section 1. Uh, let me go ahead and kind of keep going here uh, because from the sections 1.8, we begin going into 1.11. Oh, I didn't finish this one? Okay, that's what I think I, need, I needed to do. I think I was supposed to finish it yesterday. Oh, I didn't finish this one either. Oh, my goodness. All right. So then we go into section 2. <clears throat> Y yo aquí pidiéndole, va, hey, la sección ya la terminaron. Y el teacher ahí a medias, todo. Section 2 seems complete all the way. Uh, we passed models. Uh, let me see here. Yeah, it looks pretty good. Verbs that go with problems. Knowledge checks. Lesson objectives. Models with multiple uses. Uh, a little bit of verbs of belief, listening exercises. I believe you guys completed these on your own. And then to 11, the reading exercise. And then in section two, we also get the midterm. We're going to fly right through it. And we're going to come to section number three. Section three is also complete. I think only we're missing a little bit here. Let's see. Uh, Teacher. Yes, yes, Diana. Um, I have a question in sure. section four. Section four, let's go to section four. Let's go, <laughs> let's go, let's go here. I'm coming, I'm coming. Let's see, so 3.8, 3.9, which is the reading exercise. And I, okay, so you have to complete that. We come into section four, and I believe we started seeing uh, reduced time clauses. But uh, the, I have a question in the exam. In the is it is it this one the, the knowledge check or the final exam? The final exam. Let's go. Let's jump to the final. Good, so we can see it a little bit in as the, well. In the part C. Let's go to section C. 
C as in Charlie, right? A, B, here it is, C. In the number six, is that I, I put transportation system and it's always wrong. And it's always is wrong. The only, uh, yeah, and, and, and is the only option left. You know, let me go ahead. Let's see, let's see. I think last time we used uh, show answer. Let, let's show the answers. Maybe there's something wrong with it. Um. Okay, so the way it was set up, so you see how it's supposed to be transportation system. Mm -hmm. And so what happened is that they put as the correct answer, just the system. So yeah. try, it, it, you're correct, you're correct, Anna. It, it's supposed to be transportation system. But it, what it's saying is that it's only expecting for you to put the system. So let's okay. try it like that and see if it accepts it. Yeah, see, like that. So let me go and show that one more time so that you guys can see that's it. That's right. Did it come out okay? That's right. Yeah. All right. So yeah, that's it. So just for Thank you guys, you. no problem, Diana, no problem. So what happens with some of these uh, questions and answers, especially in the exams, is that, well, in this particular example, you guys see it gave us an error. And so um, the whole platform um, will show some of those issues. And what you have to do in those cases, Diana, uh, you can do it through WhatsApp. You can send me a message directly and then we can try to tell IT so that everybody is aware of it. You know, I don't want you to get something wrong that's not your fault because you had it 100% right and the system, well, the platform in this case kept telling you that it was wrong. And so, you know, it's a little bit frustrating at times. All right, Thank so this you. is no problem. And so this is the way we have it set up. And if you guys want, you guys can take a quick little <clears throat> little snip, little sh screenshot from there. And so this is the way that it's been set up. Now the answers are provided at the very top. We found that cost of living, let me see. Ah, you see cost of living is there. Green spaces is also there. And so the only one that was missing a portion was transportation system. And so that's the way they have it set up. Shopping, nightlife, climate, green spaces, cost of living, and then systems. And part two also has something along the lines, but this one, I think it's all correct. Turn in, calm down, perk up, sleep over, drop off, and burn out. Yeah, so this one is all complete. The only problem is on the first section with transportation system. All right, well done, Diana, well done, well done. Let me go ahead and go back to section number four. Guys, if you have any questions, please remember what's up is there for us. We can use it, we'll try to use that. Hello, Maricela, welcome. Who else is showing up? Luis Enrique, hello, hello. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening, sir. Okay. So for this one, we started off with reduction in time clauses or reduced time clauses. And let me go back here for the presentation. And this is the portion that we had seen yesterday. I know that it was a little bit, you know, on the boring side because it was a lot of presentations. But as you guys can see, what I wanted to cover was that it's actually time clauses, right? That is the general topic. And then within that general topic, we have the portion for reduced. And um, you can cover it in one slide. It's real quick to the point. And, you know, the, the few rules that we had, I think the most important one was this one when it comes to reducing, which was a time clause with before, after, or while can be reduced, right? So you guys have to look at the sentence. You guys have to look at the phrase. If it has before, 
after or while, then you can reduce it, right? And so we went through some examples as well. We started off with, you know, using before, before, after, or since. And then I provided you guys some uh, time clauses that were used. The most common being before, after, or since. Uh, you can also use as or as soon as, and you know we used a little bit of those. Um, we went through some examples of uh, you know you guys using while, right? And so here it is, and that's pretty much where we left off. And then I promised you guys that we would do a life worksheet that has to do with reduced relative clauses. And so that's what I have here for you guys. It's actually pretty, pretty easy. In this particular example, complete the sentences using only the verb in parentheses in the correct form. So it's a little bit easier for us. Let me go ahead and make it a little bit larger though. Maybe it'll help. Yeah, it was, it felt a little bit off all right can everybody see the exercise yes fantastic so real simple right remember we turn the verb that's in parentheses and how do we convert that how do we convert it all we need to do is add the ing in this particular case, right? So taking that into consideration, anyone driving, oh, it's not even typing. Anyone driving over the speed limit will be stopped because the verb that's being used is drive. All right. So that's the first one. All right, so now you guys help me out with the rest of them. Look at the verb that's in parentheses. And what would we need to do to reduce? What do you guys say? So the majority of the portion or the work has already been done. They already removed some of it. And the only thing that you have to do here is convert that verb. In this particular case, we can't use work. Any employee work hard could receive a bonus this month. That, that we cannot do. We need to convert that word. What can we use? Works. Works, any employee. Well, th that would be the long version. Any employee that works hard, but you would have to include that. Oh. So let's say we don't use that. Any employee. Okay. Look at the example. We took drive and we converted it to driving. Anyone driving? Working. Yeah, working. there we go. Working. Working. Like working girl. Working. All right. C. Next one. Passengers blank. And then in the verb wait for trains can use the waiting room on platform two. Waiting. Waiting. All right. And now number, well, D. Letter send it, sending. Sending. Sending with a first class. Sending. Letters sending with a first class stamp arrive the following day. All right. Any okay. item living in the classroom. Any items? Items. Items. Living. Living. In the classroom at the end of the term will be thrown away. Oh, well, any items in this case, it would have any to be items. 
is left. The thing is that if you say leaving any items left, leave. Why, teacher? Well, the thing is that if you look, look at look at how it's. You cannot use living. Leave leaving. No. Any items left would have to be on this one. I don't. Any items mm, leaving in the classroom at the end of the term? I don't know. I don't. I, it, it doesn't. It feels like it doesn't fit in. But let's leave it on there. Let's see what happens. Any items leaving in the classroom? Leaving is okay. Well, it, it is. But in this case, what the sentence is saying is. Hmm. In future. Yeah, because the classroom hasn't finished yet. And now what they're saying is, look, you know, we're going to have a whole year. And if at the end of the year, anything that is in the classroom will be thrown out. But see, leaving, I don't know. All right, let's leave it like that. Let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. Okay. Let's see. Glass blank put in green bins is recycled. Recycled. Oh, you see, glass. Pudding. Glass pudding. Like that. Well, let's leave it. Let's let's check it out. All right, the people. People leaving. Living. So see, there's a little bit of difference there, right? This is for I live here. Living in this house has been here for years. Okay, the people living in this house have been here for years. Okay. Letter H, buying. This one is buying. I. Returning. Returning. There is a fine for any library books. Whoa, 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 whoa. Let's wait. Returning, I don't know what uh, it erases. Re well, let's try it. Let's leave it like that and see what happens. And Jay? And Jay is providing. Providing. All right. So let's see how we did. Remember, we have a few. I have my doubts about E. And let's see what happens. All our gerums. Oh my goodness. We had a couple, we had good ones. We had driving, working, waiting, letters. Mm, you see, letters, Sender. sent. Sender. Ah, sent, sorry. Sent, right? Sent with a first class stamp arrive the following day. See, we have these three. Oh my goodness. We got G right living, but buying many products bought online are much more cheaper. Whoa, whoa, right? All right. So this is the exercise that we're working on. There's another portion for it. Hopefully we can we have a little bit more time. Let's let's redo it. Okay. Let me go back a little bit here. And so, 
some of the some of the exercises that we saw uh, talked about time clauses in this particular case before, after, and since, as, as soon as, and then some of the adverbs uh, though, although, and while. In the next section of the modules, we start to look at something a little bit different. And let me see, let me go back here to our lesson objectives. We had already seen that one, uh, the listening exercises. Teacher, I have a, a question. Yes, uh, Madeline. The statements are bonds and there are many, uh, there are any mistakes in, in that I saw, uh, but uh, what is the, 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 the good statements? You know, it, in in this particular, for example, we said sent. That was one that we that we mentioned uh, because sending letters being sent or letters being well, you can't you you can't in this particular case they told us we cannot use sending. Why? So we would we would have to use. In other sense, uh, uh, in the letter D is in past. Why is, I, I don't understand why is there. Well, uh, because of the way the sentence is formulated. So what they're telling you, what they're asking for here is the letters that are being sent with a first class stamp arrive the following day. Okay, now, the letters being sending does not really, it doesn't really fit into the way the sentence have been structured. So let, let's give it an example, right? So we used already sending and it gave us a wrong, it gave us a wrong answer. So we're taking the word send and we're gonna use sent as in past and see how that works. Let's see. And Teacher, uh, now, yeah. Um, excuse me, but I understand the phrase is in in past when you write a sent, but in the statement, the following day is is future following following day. Uh, in which uh, in which case. I I write in past in which and um, when I write uh, sending. Well, sending is in in this moment. I, right, I, right, and that's why it doesn't accept it. It does correct. Well, actually, actually, letters sent with a first class stamp arrive the following day. So if you look at the sentence structure, right? And what the sentence is telling you, it's telling you, if you send a letter and you put a first class stamp on it, it will arrive the following day. So whenever you do it, it will arrive the following day. You could do it today, you could do it tomorrow, right? If you sent it yesterday, it will arrive today, which is the following day. And so in this particular case, if you wanted to use sending, you would have to add something to it. Letters, you can, no, you can't even use it because of the way it's formulated. Letters sending, no. Letters sending with a first class stamp arrives the following day. It, it doesn't even it doesn't even fit. You would have to you would have to change like the whole phrase to be able to use sending. You would have to say letters that are being no, you can't even use it like that. Check. No oh, sending. Me. Yeah, yeah, madam. I speak, but I, I I understand when I use uh, uh, 
in the statement is things, letters, items. I uh, I write the verb in past. Uh, in the letter, in the statement letter E, any items uh, is left. Well, is I write in past because items are things. And the letter A, B, C are are persons, people. I understand. Okay. Well, that that's another. Yeah, you could look at it that way, Madeline. Now, I I guess the best way to look at it, or the simplest way, is what form of that verb would fit the best when taking the whole sentence into consideration. And so this is where when you guys when we add ing this is the form of present, right? It's happening right this moment. So on C, for example, let's use C. When we were doing C, we did passengers waiting for trains can use the waiting room. Passengers waiting, I believe was the one. Okay. So if you look at the sentence structure, the correct form would be present. Okay. And so here in D, it changes. And that's why it does not accept sending. Because sending would actually be the present motion, right? We would be, we would need to say. We would need to say something like this. I am sending my letter with a first class stamp. Like that. If we were to use sending on letter D, we would have to reformat the whole phrase to, to mention that we are doing an action at this moment. But because of the phrase, and because the phrase is telling you that you can do it at any time, right? In this particular case, the correct form would be passed and the correct word would be sent. Letters sent with a first class stamp arrive the following day. And that's why it doesn't accept sending and it will accept sent. And so let's look, we used waiting and sent and we can go through that. Let's see. And that's how we have it sent. So, I would say, Madeline, you have to look at the whole sentence to see if you're going to be using the verb with ing, or you need to use a past example of that word, a past participle, right? All right, we're gonna come back to these because we still have the second part of it, hopefully, hopefully, right? And let's go back to what we had just been looking at in the, in the module. Okay. These are the expressions. These are idioms. And these are phrasal verbs. that have to do with sleep. And I believe there's two exercises on here and hopefully we can cover both of them. 
and then we jump into something else. So this one is actually pretty quick. Let me go ahead and make it a little bit bigger for you guys. Are you guys able to see it okay? Okay. So these are some of the these are some of the wording that was used, but not all of it, because it, it, it you know it depends on how you're using it. So we're gonna start off with if you're having trouble sleeping, what will you you know what will you hear? Well, you can say things or you will hear things like be wide awake. You have a sleepless night or you were tossing and turning. And these are all terms that you can use and they describe having trouble sleeping. Falling asleep, you guys can say drift off, feel drowsy or not off, nodding off, right? Have you guys ever gone have you guys ever been on the bus and you're so tired and you just start kind of like, you know? Yeah. All right. So when you guys start doing that, nodding off, when you're doing like this, when you're nodding off in the bus, that's what that means, right? You're falling asleep on the bus, right? Okay. When you sleep for a short time or sleeping a short time, take a power nap, or you can also say not off. Hey, I nodded off. And you can use that as well. Deeply sleeping, you guys can say be fast asleep, be sound asleep, or sleep like a log. Sleeping like a log. Okay. Once again, having trouble sleeping, be wide awake, have a sleepless night, tossing and turning. These are all phrases that you can use and they all have to do with sleeping, right? We have a couple more here. Some of them are already, we already covered them. Sleep like a log, a sleeping giant, I oversleep, over sleep, sleep in, fast and sound asleep, not sleep a wink, sleep on it or to wait before making an important decision. These are other idioms and expressions related to sleep that you guys can use. And we have a waking up, of course, sleep in. You wake up at seven every morning and then you get up. But on Sunday, since it's your day off, what you do is you sleep in. We usually sleep on Sunday mornings, right? So you don't wake up at seven. You don't get out of bed at seven. You wait until eight or 8.30 or nine, depending on you know how much you wanna sleep in. Drop off, go off. This has to do with the alarm. What happened? My alarm didn't go off or my alarm went off a little bit later. Sleep through. I slept right through till lunchtime. So you can say something like that. I slept through, sleep on it, doze off, lie down and stay up. These are phrasal because verbs with sleep. Raf? Teacher. Hi, teacher. I have a question. Yes, Raf. Teacher? Okay, yeah, yeah, so my we... question is um, if the, okay, if the phrasal verb stand away means the same thing with stay up. Stay awake. No, stand, stand. Stand awake. Yeah. Stand. You know, the thing is that stand 
Well, you know, you could you, you could say it. It sounds kind of weird, though, Raf. So it would have to be it okay. would have to be very is, specific. I, I heard it. That's why. Okay, you could okay. say like, for example, Raf, okay. uh, the security guards. Have you noticed that the security guards cannot sit down? And if you're working in a place that that is over, yeah. let's say that they do overnight, what you will see in most cases that the security guard will be standing, but he's, you know, kind of like maybe falling asleep or sometimes he even goes to sleep standing. Yes. Now, mm -hmm. I, I, you know, that's, okay. what, that, that's what comes to mind when we say stand awake. I have a question. Madeline. Okay, yes, Madeline. Uh, why right is between a slap and throat? Why Where? right? Oh, I slept. And I slept. Uh, I slept. I, I slept, slept right. right through till lunchtime. So what happened was, through. Through. yeah, right through. through. Right, right, right is between. Well, what it's saying is that you actually fell asleep and you did not wake up. You could not wake up. So in this particular case, right is being used to explain that you did not hear the alarm, that you were not able to get up. And so you went through till lunchtime. But since we're not using through, we are using right through. I, I you know, I right. want to say, I I write I, I can write left. I well, no, left no, through. you can't. No, you can't say I slept left through. No, 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 because right is not being used in that in in that way. Right, at, at right, right now, left. Yeah, right now you're not using right versus left. Right now, you're using the word right as mm -hmm. a I want to, how, how can we use this? How can I, how can I say this? Como el, you know, I want to say, let's say you had an alarm. Like to yeah, tell me. Uh, sorry, oh. sorry. Go, go ahead, go ahead, tell me, go ahead. Help me out, help me out. Help me out, tell me. <laughs> I was thinking that maybe it could be something like I sleep right through. When you say right, is because you are telling the ex an specific time that you're doing. You could you could use it that way, and you know that's what. But I want to say so. Yes, yes, tell me. So you you're providing a specific time that is happening you were supposed to get up you set your alarm and you didn't hear it so uh you were supposed to let's do, let's do the example you were supposed to get up at eight but you couldn't get up and so you slept right through that uh, the alarm the noises somebody else waking you up and you went all the way to lunchtime so from 7 a.m to 12 noon you fell asleep and you were not able to get up. And so you slept right through all the way till lunchtime. And so I, I you know, I think I'm going to have to look for a proper way to explain this, Madeline. Let's, let's leave it here on the notes and I'll put it in the WhatsApp as well. Explaining how we use right in this particular. All right. Okay. So before we go over too much or go over in a different direction, we still have the idioms that you guys can see. For example, count sheep. Have you guys ever heard of the term count sheep? Yes. Yes. All right. How about tossing and turning? Yeah, we just saw that one, right? Tossing and turning. I could not sleep a wink. I couldn't even wink, right? I was so tired. I couldn't go to sleep. Yes. 
wide awake. Teacher, in that case, okay. Okay, um, teacher, wink is when you um, close your eyes, right? And yeah, pispilia, right? Again. That's correct. Yeah. Okay, thanks. So here, what you're trying to say is, oh my, you couldn't even close your eyes. You couldn't even wink all night. Okay. O sea, los ojos los tenías abiertotes. Yeah. And when you want to, to give a sign teacher to someone else, is that to wink that? That is correct. You can use it in that way. Yes, you can ah, okay. wink at somebody. Yes, okay. that is the same term. All right. How about if you are going to sleep, right? Go out like a light. You can go out like a light. You are sound asleep. Sleep like a baby or sleep like a log. And dead to the world. All right. Okay. Now, within the same modules, it, it goes over into clauses stating reasons and conditions. And as you guys can see, there's a little sheep because it kind of has something to do with it. And so here we talk about even if, so there's a list that comes out, right? And so the list that they show is this one. Even. Even if. Introduce a condition. Mm -hmm. And so yeah, remember that we're talking about true. reasons and conditions, right? And so let me explain to you guys all of these. I'm, I'm sorry. Let me go ahead. If you guys are reading, taking you guys back a little bit. So the first word that we see is even if. So now, when you use even if, this means that something will happen. Would happen or would have happened, whatever the condition. Okay? Even if we leave right now, we still won't catch the train. I wouldn't go into the water even if I could swim. So no matter what, right? When you guys are using even if, it, it's, it's whatever you're saying is not going to happen. We are going out on a date. Even if we are going out on a date, that doesn't mean that we're going to be boyfriend and girlfriend. Right? Even if we're going out to eat, it doesn't mean I'm going to eat because I'm on a diet or I'm fasting or something like that. So um, you guys can use even if because you are saying something will happen no matter what or something will not happen. Right? So you can use it in that way. So that's the first one that we use. Even if, even if we see each other, I still won't talk to you. Okay? So you can use it that way. The next one is considering that. Now, when you use considering that, this is to indicate that you are thinking about a particular fact when making a judgment or giving an opinion. And so the example is, considering that you are no longer involved with this man, your response is a little extreme. Hmm? Hmm? There's a particular fact. You are no longer with that man, but your response is very extreme, hmm? very fishy. I feel happy I passed the test considering I didn't study for it. So you guys can say, considering that, okay? There was something particular that you did in this particular case, you did not study. There is no studying, so you passed the test and that's pretty shocking, right? The next one that we use is as long as or provided that. Okay. Now, these two, mean but only if you can use my car as long as you drive carefully you can use my car as long as you put gas in it traveling by car is convenient provided that you have somewhere to park so you can use as long as, or you can say provided that. You don't get it wet, right? Or you can say, if we're talking about parking, you can say cover or parking with cover. All right. Next one down the list is unless. 
unless means except if. We use unless to make an exception to something we say. Don't tell Anne what I said unless she asks you. So if she asks you, you can tell her. So that's when we use unless. I wouldn't eat between meals unless I were extremely hun hungry. So if you see me eating is because I was extremely hungry. Yeah, there we go. So unless is used in that way. And then to finish it off is just in case. Just in case usually means that you don't accept something to happen. But if it does, it is used primarily for future events. Just in case you need me, I'll be at Tom's. No me vas a llamar, but just in case you decide to call me, I will be at Tom's. I'll be studying upstairs just in case she calls. And so these are examples. And then this is the list that we have. And this is the same list that you guys will see in the video. Okay. All right. All right, ladies and gentlemen, going back to the platform, these are the ones that you guys see. You see how it says expressions related to sleep. And then once you guys complete that, you go into the clauses stating the reasons and the conditions, and then you guys get to see the video on there right there. And then you have three knowledge checks that are back to back, 4.7, 4.8, 4.9. And then you go into your final assessment. If you guys are able to go through your final assessment and you guys need help for tomorrow, please let me know and we can cover some like that. Also, I will keep in mind the explanation of why we use right when we used it in the phrase. When is the last on. class? Tomorrow, no, Thursday. Thursday, the 25th. Thursday. Thursday. Yes. Thursday the, yes, the 25th. Thursday the 25th. 25th. Oh. Teacher, and we can still send the documents, can't we? Yes, you can, Raf. You can still send the documents. You can okay. send them all the way up through the 25th. So you should be okay with that. Okay, thanks. All right, and let me go ahead and save your presentation for today. And then that way we get one big one on Friday. Please remind me, right? Remind me on Friday as well. All right, everybody. Teacher, yes, madam. My, my documents. Teacher. No, not Teacher. me. You have to send them uh, to moment. the admin. Uh, do you need my documents? Not me, not my me. My documents in, in this course? No, you have to send your documents no, for the, the module. The, the... Mayo. Oh, Mayo. Mario. Mm, ¿Qué pasa aquí, Madeline? <laughs> Mario. No, no, I, I think the, <laughs> I think the, the, the same, the, the, this course, this course, or the, the other course, the, the next course. Mm, no, I'm not too sure about the next but course. I Madeline. remember I sent only, only only my documents, but I, the, the list, I did, I, I cannot, I, I couldn't, I couldn't send them. Let me, let me I, ask, I, let me ask the admin, Madeline. I, I let me ask my admin to see if the you need to, for the new module, for the next module. Hi. Mario, I'm Mario. Okay, teacher. All right, all right, Madeline. I'm, I'm going to ask I'm just sorry. in case. No, don't worry about it. All right, everybody, have a good night. See you guys tomorrow. Bye. You too. Bye. Bye. Namaste. Namaste. Bye. 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 B